A group worried about the quality of our waterways took to the streets yesterday. Specifically, the group is challenging state legislation they feel would increase pollution along Florida's coastline. SNN local news reporter Rob Wells has more. Bill and Jean Watawa have called Sarasota home for nearly 10 years. They say keeping our waterways clean in Florida is everyone's job. People simply don't pick up after themselves. And along the, but along the shoreline, I haven't seen really any other debris other than the, the grass that comes in with the storm. They're not the only ones who have concerns over high amounts of pollutants in Florida waterways. No more slime! Slime's a crime! Monday, protesters gathered at the offices of Florida State Representative Ray Pilon to challenge House Bill 7115 and Senate Bill 1808. Opponents fear that if passed, both would lessen restrictions on nitrogen and phosphorus materials in Florida waterways. The rule exempts huge swaths of, the floor, of Florida's waters, meaning they won't get any protection at all. And those that do get protection under the rule will get pr protection after study, after study, after study is done. We can't wait any longer. Those on hand also worry that extra pollution could result in more blue-green algae, which could harm marine life for years to come. But that's not all. Toxic algae, toxic tides are taking over and running tourists away. We're losing jobs. Not only is the topic of cleaner water in our area a main concern for residents and neighbors here, but it's also getting the attention of local, state, and federal officials who say that the message is being heard loud and clear. I spoke with Representative Pilon just now, and he said thank you guys so much for coming. Protesters left flyers and information at Representative Pilon's office that they hope makes a difference in the near future. I think if you read the bill, you'll see that there are a lot of restrictions and that the state is moving forward with standards uh, that are applicable to these waterways, and they will be enforced. And I'm looking forward to continue on that path to make sure that our quality of water remains uh, and gets back to a state of being the best it can. For now, the debate continues between both sides, while residents like the Watawas worry that it's a fight that's far from over. Government has been involved in trying to clean up waterways for hundreds of years. It's certainly nothing new. Now, organizers of yesterday's rally and protest are urging all residents to reach out to call their local lawmakers to voice concerns over the future of the water pollution.